is Hi, I'm Martin Bedford. I'm the coordinator of the Honeybee Blues Club, a pop-up blues club based in Sheffield since 2014. We started our own record label last year and uh, we're very proud and pleased to have uh, Dead Man's Uke this year. We're pleased to have put uh, Dead Man's Uke on for several years now. Uh, international artists, they always deliver authenticity nailed. The songs on this record are a collection of old time, hokum, blues, Americana and much more. I found these songs whilst digging through 78s and online archives and collating a list of which this record was then born out of. It includes tunes by people such as Blind Little Johnson, Mississippi John Hurt, Lead Belly, Memphis Jug Band and King Davis Jug Band. These are some of the best musicians of this period and create the music we love. Some of the songs have been done by massively popular acts such as Led Zeppelin and Nirvana but they all take their roots in the Mississippi Delta Blues. We recorded this in a very authentic way with the live takes where we had all of the band members in the room at once. We had Gina Lafoe on fiddle and mandolin who brought era specific instruments that really added to the whole sound and the authenticity. We had Mel Day who's fabulous on the harmonica and Tim played a collection of instruments including a baritone resonator his banjo, Tiny Tim's concert resonator uke, and I was on double bass. And all combined together created that raw hokum feel. So once the uh, live tracks were recorded in the live room, we then took them into our editor and we did a bit of time mixing and uh, EQing the tracks so we could capture that sort of authentic feel from the studio. And then we had to master it for vinyl, which was a new process we've not done before. So it's different to doing it for online or for CD. Um, we have to be mono below a certain frequency in the bass. Uh, we also have to uh, watch sort of de around vocals on certain frequencies to take out. Um, this is so that when the lathe's cutting the records, uh, there's nothing extreme that causes it to jump, which means that when it's played back, you get the best quality sound. We're pretty pleased with how that's come out. Hey, here we are, we're at the Do It This Sound studio. I'm John Downing and I cut uh, the records here in my studio. And I've got here a CD master for uh, Dead Man's Uke tracks. So what we do first, we get the blank up to the right temperature. So we're looking at around 40 odd degrees, 42 degrees. That's, that's perfect, that's perfect for cutting here. And then we've got to make sure that we've got all the static off the blank. So, get the static off the blank. Should be good to go. Right, so now we've got the, with the static, we're at the right temperature. I can line, line up. We line up, we check the temperature again. Yep, we're good to go. So, turn the light on. Drop the needle. Which is the winding the leading track. Start the music. Off we go. And the sound you can the speakers is the vinyl. So we play it back as we're cutting. Man, I baby, did you get the letter? You can take me back and I'll treat you better. And with it all wrapped together, with this artwork and the 10 inch record, we hope to create the feel of something from that period, but with a bit of a fresh touch. We're particularly happy to uh, deal with this project because we're going back to old time Hokum uh, original stuff. Uh, a lot of the releases that we will be putting out on Honeybee's records uh, are going to be quite diverse, but this is hitting it really at the roots where it's at. Really enjoyed working with 
Martin from Honeybee Records and John at Do It This End to create this piece and we're really happy and excited about it getting out there in the real world. I said sometimes my baby boozy and sometimes she tries to boo but ain't no one's business but my own. Well, ain't nobody's dirty business how my baby treats me. Nobody's business but my own. Yeah, ain't nobody's dirty business how my baby treats me. Nobody's